Hello guys, Arnel here of Linkwise Technology and I'm going to show you our all-in-one monitoring device which is called Rex. So stay tuned because I'm going to show you very exciting features of Rex. At the front side, here are the LED indicators. So you can see the status of the device itself and also the input and output status of every device connected to Rex. It also has an antenna connector. A terminal block connector on which you will connect the devices that you want to monitor. At the top part, there is a SIM card for a micro SIM and a function button that if you press for 5 seconds, it can show the IP of the device. And at the bottom part, there is an Ethernet connector and another terminal block connector for power and Modbus communication. So, how can we monitor all the input and output points? Easy. Just type in the IP address of Rex at the address bar of the browser. Then you can now access the dashboard. Just make sure that your laptop or mobile device and the Rex device is on the same network. Once the page has finally loaded, you will be redirected to the login page. The default username and password are admin. When login is successful, the dashboard would show up. The top part contains necessary device information like device ID, IP address, cellular network, and signal strength. And the most important thing for monitoring is the date and time to know when and how long does the alarm have already occurred. You can also see a drop down menu on which you can navigate to the other pages and I will show it to you later on. This header is very convenient because you can see all the necessary information you need while using Rex. Here at the left side of the dashboard, you can see the internal tags. Here are the eight digital inputs, two analog inputs, and two relay outputs. On the left side, you can see the external devices part. Then, at the bottom part is the event logs, on which you will see every event that would happen in the devices you monitor. And also, the SMS logs, on which you can see the SMS and email sent. Just click the drop down menu at the top to navigate to other pages. I will choose the first IO configuration page. This is where you can see all the tags, whether it is from the internal or external device. It consists of digital inputs, analog inputs, digital outputs, and also the Modbus inputs and outputs. It is very easy to configure because the only thing you need to do is to type descriptions, select states, then click save, and there it would automatically reflect on the dashboard. Next is the phone group page. Here, you can enter your phone number and email, which would be used in SMS and email alerts, and also your name for easy reference. There are three types of groups, which is the operation, escalation, and authorized group. In the operation group, they are the ones who will first receive the alarm messages. And if the input is still on the alarm state, the numbers on the escalation group would receive the escalated alerts. The authorized group is used for SMS commands. These are the numbers that can only access certain information while using SMS commands. The next are the logs page. Here, you can see the combined event logs and SMS logs that was mentioned earlier. It can record up to 200 logs. Logs can be saved as a CSV or an XML file. 
and you have the option to clear the logs. In the system configuration page, this is where you can configure or change some functionalities of the device. You can change the password, device ID, date and time, IP address, APN settings, SMTP settings, SMS settings, and enable auto health check or even update the firmware of Rex. So, if you have external devices that you would need to connect in Rex, it should be on the Modbus configuration page. Just fill in the needed information like device name, ID, baud rate, parity, data and stop bits, and tag addresses. and enable the RTU settings. Then parameterize the tag and it would be automatically be reflected on the dashboard. The last page is the device information page. Here you can see the serial number of the device, firmware version, cellular network information, and also the LAN information. It is very easy to configure and very flexible. There is no need to install any additional software. As you can see in the dashboard, it has eight digital inputs, two analog inputs, and two relay outputs. And you can also add external devices through Modbus. The most special feature of Rex is that it can alert you through SMS and email once alarm status happened. This is an advantage because once I receive a text message or an email, I can easily take preventive action and that it can be taken care of immediately. A truly unique, low-cost device with full power features and functionality. Simple yet reliable.